More than a thousand people are still missing a week after deadly Hurricane Michael wreaked havoc and flattened entire communities across the Florida panhandle. Hundreds of volunteers were searching on Wednesday for the roughly 1,135 people in Florida who lost contact with family and friends when the Category 4 hurricane struck on October 10. Most of those missing are from Panama City and many are elderly, disabled, impoverished, or live alone, according to Matthew Marchetti, co-founder of Houston-based Crowdsource Rescue. Florida officials have not given a number for how many people are considered to be missing. Those who are missing may be with relatives and friends and are not necessarily presumed dead. Debris, down trees and power lines have hampered access to stranded people, but Crowdsource said a number of its missing person reports resulted from widespread phone and power outages. At least 27 people died during that hurricane. The death toll includes 17 in Florida, one in Georgia, three in North Carolina, and six in Virginia. Officials said medical examiners were determining whether another four deaths in Florida were due to the storm. Michael slammed into the northwest coastal strip of Florida last Wednesday with top sustained winds of 155 miles per hour, unleashing a surge of seawater that demolished homes. About 35,000 Floridians have called Federal Emergency Management Agency seeking help since, and the agency has already approved $1 million in assistance for people in those 12 counties. FEMA has distributed about 4.5 million meals, more than 5 million liters of water, and 9 million infant and toddler kits. In Mexico Beach, which took a direct hit, the number of people missing dropped to three on Tuesday, according to city councilor Rex Putnell. A day earlier, it was more than 30. The town of 1,200 residents had reported two fatalities. As of Monday, nearly 163,000 homes and businesses remained without power in the U. S Southeast, with residents of battered coastal towns forced to cook on fires and barbecue grills. At least 80% of customers in three mainly rural panhandle counties were without electricity on Tuesday. Officials said it could be weeks before power returns to some. Countless others in the region's backcountry have struggled for days without running water or sanitation, awaiting help from authorities. Some have been camping in tents with the belongings they were able to salvage. The state government is distributing ice, water, and about 3 million ready to eat meals, Governor Rick Scott's office said. Marchetti said the search has been hindered by spotty cell phone coverage in the devastated area, though authorities are making progress in restoring communications. Many residents have also expressed frustration at the slow pace of recovery of wireless networks. Federal Communications Commission Chairman Ajit Pai on Tuesday called for wireless carriers to waive bills for customers affected by the storm, 